There are certainly some special homes in the Huon Valley, but every now and then an absolute showpiece comes along that is a testament to the passion, hard work and extraordinary vision of some very talented individuals. Susie, thank you for taking the time to speak with me today. It's no doubt an absolute pleasure to be selling your home and I've been blown away by the attention to detail that you've gone to with every facet of this magnificent home. By that I mean you didn't just build a barn, you built an amazing multi-purpose area. You didn't just build a garden, you built one of Australia's best wicking gardens. And you didn't just build an extension, you built an amazing outdoor entertaining area that anyone would be super proud of with a great wow factor. So. Thank you. The barn really can't be described as just a barn. It's really an incredible area. What was your inspiration in creating that space for the family to use? Well, what I love about the barn um, is it's almost like going on holiday when we go up there. Um, it's, a, it's painted in a beautiful bright colour. Yes. It's nice and um, sunny. Yep. And we go up there and we've got the pool and entertainment area. Yes. If it's, we've got a two-way fire. We've yep. got a lounge room on the other side and a lovely area where um, we do um, our hobbies yep. and painting, um, arts and crafts. It's, um, so that's one half of the barn. Yes. Um, the other half is a fantastic workshop. Yeah. So it meets everybody's needs. Yeah. Dad's happy, mum's happy, yeah. the kids are happy, and visitors just enjoy it every time they come up. Yeah. Um, and we spend many hours up there. It's one of our favourite places. Yeah, yeah, oh, great. You obviously have a personal love of entertaining. Tell me about the plan for this great outdoor entertaining area. Well, that was one of my visions I had before I came, and um, we put it into practice here was yeah. uh, we have a large family yeah. we love Christmas is a very important time of the year yes. and this has been a perfect entertainment area for that yeah. with yeah. pizza oven with the outdoor fire so we can be out here in any yeah. weather yeah. Um, having the playground for children to play in why yeah. parents get to sit down and en enjoy co their company um, it's just been an ideal yeah. place to enjoy yep yeah. and I'm sure the sandstones are good or oh, whether floor surface to use. And it, and it is so easy to keep clean, um, it's been ideal and it would be something I would definitely use in the future. Yeah, yeah. It's well worth being, it has been well worth putting down. Yeah. So what drew you Susie to this property when you were a purchaser a few years back when you were looking around for a place to purchase in southern Tasmania? Well we actually looked all over Tasmania and we were looking for a Pacific property that would meet our, our vision and our vision was to live an organic sustainable lifestyle yes. um, and also to achieve that we needed a certain amount of rainfall and we found this property and it ticked all the boxes. I think one of the things that drew us not only to that side of things is was what was available in the community. Yes. Um, they were very welcoming. Um, the local community offered everything to doctors, a chemist, a wonderful school, um, an early um, childhood program yep. that um, is one of the best in, in Hobart. Um, so what was available, the property had a high rainfall and it was perfect to be able to put my vision down and, and get it into process. Yeah. You've got a native Tasmanian Blackwood timber kitchen. Um, tell me a little bit about that. You obviously spend a fair bit of time in there. Well, I love to cook yeah. and um, I bake there all the time. We make bread every day. Yeah. Um, what I love is it's also got a window seat which the sun streams in, yes. in uh, about midday. Yeah. Um, one of the delightful things is my children sit there on the window seat and chatter away to me while I'm cooking. Yes. Yeah. And um, it's a really special space. The other special space is our second living area, which we call the sunroom. Yeah. Every Sunday morning, we um, in winter, we light the wood-fired oven yeah. and make porridge on the wood-fired oh, oven. Uh, yeah. And yeah. then we all sit around and listen to music and um, eat our breakfast together. It's, um, yeah. you know, I think it would be a childhood memory my children will never forget. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah. Now you've got some very colourful outbuildings over here beside the house. Do you want to tell me a little bit about those? Yes, we've certainly injected a bit of personality <laughs> in our painting of our chicken coops. We've got two chicken coops. Yeah. We um, breed Barnavelda chickens, yeah. so um, we have two coops um, to accommodate them. We've got a dog run um, yeah. with a very um, ornate um, dog kennel in there. Yes. Um, we've also got some pasture down the front where we have a, um, a Jersey cow, which yep. we've been um, milking. Yep. Um, so yes, we have plenty of accommodation for 
for your pets around the home. Yeah, great. Yeah. A lot of thought has gone into the decorating of the home inside. Whereabouts does your inspiration come from? Well, um, it, it's interesting that I, I have over many years gone to many beautiful homes and always looked around and if I've got a lovely feel for the home and it made me feel very welcome and, and um, comfortable, I used to look around and pick ideas from other people and, yep. and when we bought this property I was able to put all those ideas together yep. and um, I, one thing that was very important to us is to always use um, very good quality fittings yes. um, and you can see that all the way through the property yep. um, with the Italian lighting we yes. had flown over from Italy to um, the zesty pizza oven yep. um, using um, Thermalax um, wood fired cookers yes. to um, the spotted gum decking yep. as well as um, even out on the property we have got Oregon country gates yeah, which we amazing which are handmade and brought over from the mainland. Yep. Um, we have not spared any expense when it comes to the fittings and that certainly shines through when you walk through our home. Yes. Um, and it is um, one of our very, uh, one thing that um, creates a lot of pride yeah. in, yeah. in um, living here. Okay, and what about the wicking garden? Tell me a little bit about a wicking garden because I've never, never seen one or certainly not one quite as elaborate as this before. So. Well, a wicking garden is, is um, the future of gardening yes. um, because they ha are water saving yep. and obviously as um, environmental issues are coming up, having water saving gardens is, is a great advantage. Yep. And the other advantage of being water saving is that you can go away on holiday and the garden will look after itself. You don't have to get anybody in to water it for you, it'll okay. do it itself. Yep. Um, so it's the same principle as a kerosene lamp. Um, it wicks its water up from the bottom. Yes. So when plants um, are planted they uh, become very strong and disease hardy because they um, send down a very strong tap root yep. okay. um, to, to get to the water. Yep. Um, with n watering from the bottom and not from um, the top you eliminate a lot of diseases, airborne diseases uh, um, like powdery mildew. Um, it also has um, three times more productivity than in a normal conventional garden. Yep. An example of that just recently over summer, we um, planted two of the vegetable garden, wicking gardens in potatoes yes. and we harvested half a tonne of potatoes out of that garden. Yeah. Yeah. So productivity, we're producing one and, um, 1 1.2 kilo heads of broccoli wow. <laughs> and it's just been fantastic yeah. and um, all organic. Yes. Um, and it is just a very successful way of um, growing yeah, growing right. vegetables. Yeah, and you've spent quite a bit of time putting in some mature deciduous trees and fruit trees and an ornamental garden at the same time while you've been creating the wicking garden as well. Absolutely, we've got established fruit trees. Yeah. Um, we've got a bo both um, native and English trees planted yes. around the property um, and uh, it is just an absolute pleasure to watch all the uh, fairy wrens and crimson robins coming in and dancing around the garden. Yep. It's um, it's an absolute pleasure. Yeah, yeah. And tell me about this playground that's behind us here. This is something that's uh, you don't get in too many backyards around <laughs> Australia, I'm sure. So. Well, um, it, it certainly is a lot of fun for both adults and children. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yes, um, with uh, it's lovely to have other children from neighbours yep. coming to visit. Yeah. Um, we enjoy people and enjoy yep. company, and it means the children are well entertained. Yes. Yeah. And the property, you've got a real good mix of pasture and bush and a nice private buffer for many of the neighbouring homes around here? Absolutely um, and the wonderful thing is we do have uh, these wood f fires throughout the property yes. so we can um, source our firewood yep. um, with with ease um, yep. which cuts down all your costs of heating yeah, yeah. Um, as well as we have um, a six kilowatt 24 panel solar system. Yeah. Good, self-sufficient like as well. Oh, it's, it's fantastic. We have not yet, since we put it on, received a power bill. In fact, we're very far ahead in credit, wow. which yeah. is, um, this day and age, is just such a help. Yeah, yeah, so very self-sufficient right through with the vegetables and fruit and power and everything and water and off the grid. So, a yeah. Absolutely. It's, um, it's a lifestyle that um, promotes health and yeah. um, it's um, is a lifestyle that... Um, 
I would recommend to everybody. And you've got some extensive wildlife around the property. Tell me about that. Well, um, it was a real surprise for us. When we first moved in, um, we discovered that there's a wedgetail eagle nest on the top of our hill. Yeah. Um, so we have the pleasure of watching them fly around every day, but the privilege that we have is to watch in spring mum and dad wedgetail eagle teaching their babies to fly. Yes. Yeah. And we've got a family of Tasmanian devils that live up yeah. Um, yeah. on our hill. So um, it's a real treat. Yes. Well, Susie, I'd like to thank you for allowing me the pleasure to sell this magnificent home for you. I do have one last question though, it was why would you want to leave something so beautiful? Well, unfortunately life throws you curveballs and you've just got to roll with the punches. Yeah. Um, but it's going to be very sad to leave, but I'm sure whoever takes on this property will love it as much as we do. Yeah. Well, if you would like to experience how this property could be your perfect place to call home, please don't hesitate to email or call me, Nick Bond from Harcourt's on the numbers below and I'll arrange a private inspection at any time.